So I made that as part one because I, <clears throat> for one, I, there really wasn't an apology in there. I actually didn't say sorry to atheists, sorry to atheists. Um, which, uh, for, for grouping them all together and into people or, um, non people who are truly secular, who I don't, I don't have a clue what their religion is. When I make a video to them, um, for actually referring to religion too much, which can be overbearing on the internet because there are people who, and I can't stand it when people who, who talk to me, um, talk to me about Jesus, every word out of the, or even if, even if Jesus leaves their lips once, it pisses me off so bad, um, which is, is probably a bigotry of mine. I mean, I, well, it is, it is. If Jesus leaves their li I can't stand the word Jesus. And that, that is a big, that is a big bigotry. It, it is. I'm just going to say it. Many people would disagree with me, and I know you are, and I, I know why you would, and I'm, I'm heavily sympathetic to that, but I, I, I'm debating in myself whether that's a bigotry or not, and I'm just going to accept that it is. Um, but also, two anti-theists, I'll call them that, I, I don't think I need to say this, atheist, well, maybe I should say atheists and agnostics, and even the theists and religious people, um, when you attack Muslims, right, or any religion, uh, as I said in the previous video, um, I just want to explain this, just if I can put it in a context, uh, just at, like in the true sense of an apology. I, I already said I, I'm sorry. Now let me try to just so there's some context to this understanding. Um, if you said like like the Billy Bob's and Bonnet dances, if they attacked Mexicans or black people. people would be pissed off, right? Can't stop being black or Mexican. Um, Muslims, that's when they come here, it, or anywhere, That's they're Muslims, right? That's how they get attacked, and that's how, that's their whole culture. Um, and that's how religion is. And the Irish, if you go to Ireland, you go to, that's Protestant or Catholic, even if you're an atheist, I mean, Brendan Hughes, right, you, the, the people on the hunger strike in 1981, some of them didn't believe in God. They're Catholics. And in America, uh, the anti-Catholic rhetoric was racist. It was uh, white supremacists. The people who call themselves Native Americans were the WASP, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, against the Irish, against the Italian. And even now, anti-Catholic rhetoric is, and it has been for the last... 45 years against the Mexicans, and you'll still hear that. Um, and I'm not saying all anti-religious stuff like that, but think of that, anti, if you're saying the Hindus, the Hindus, the Hindus. Think how that is. Now, surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, the, uh, the anti The anti-religious uh, stuff on here is usually anti-Christian, but when the, when people start firebombing Coptic Christian churches, and it's also happening in Egypt, and it's undeniable that it happens here. Um, <coughs> now, when it happened in... 2001, 2003, people thought there were mosques, stupid Americans. Um, 
when they were when other Orthodox churches were desecrated, it was in response to Putin. You know, oh, you respond, we'll respond. One of your people attacks us, we're going to take... That's how the mafia freaking operates. One of your people... One of one people who I identify as one of yours hurt one of the people who I identify as one of mine, even though not, none of us know each other at all. So I'm going to retaliate on you. To me, that's the problem in the thinking. <laughs> Like that's the, but it's even, even the assumption that, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could go on like this for hours and even labels or ideas or why people believe what they believe. But then again, just watch one of Billy Bob or Bionic Dance's videos. And I think it's pretty friggin' obvious. And how many people do we know who are Muslim or Catholic who get on with their life? and go to church or the masjid and nicest people believe in science believe in vaccines aren't superstitious at all and uh do we really need jackasses like this harassing them and calling them nazis and baby killers and blaming them for the holocaust how many in our grand, weren't the generation of our grandparents the ones that fought in World War II? A fraction of a fraction of them were atheists. They stopped the Holocaust. They stood up against communism. Communism was explicitly atheist. Do we blame atheists for that? We think only the jackasses blame atheists for that. We live in uh, regulated capitalist and regulated socialist societies. Those are nowhere near communist societies. Communism is pretty much dead. We have, what, North Korea and Cuba? That's it. China isn't really even communist anymore. Um, any any flaunts of communism are seen as a joke. I mean, what, Evo Morales and, and uh, Hugo Chavez. It's just, it's pomp and, pomp and circumstance. That all, that's all it is. And, and, and and flouting things, and it's just an excuse to be a, a jackass little dictator. I mean, it's funny in the Venture Brothers, it was. I mean, this is rambling on, and I'm going to cut this up, but I just got to end with this. Uh, they go, it, what is it? The, we got an insurgency of uh, communists down in what is it, some fake country. Dr. Ranch goes, Communists? Do they still make those anymore? I thought that was funny, so. This really went nowhere, but I had to end that second video because I just got too pissed off. I mean, I get too angry when I think about, like, think about the nicest people and then these jackasses calling, you know, names. I get too worked up. People of Arab and Irish and Latino descent being angry? <laughs> Never heard of that one. <laughs> Take it easy, peace to you.